Psalm 35 is a powerful example of the role of prayer in overcoming challenges. David faced difficult circumstances, but he did not let that discourage him. Instead, he cried out to God for deliverance and protection. This psalm reminds us that prayer is an essential tool for overcoming challenges and that we can always turn to God for help, no matter what we may be facing. Psalm 35 is a powerful prayer against unjust enemies that can provide comfort and encouragement to those facing similar situations today. This psalm reminds us of the importance of righteous living, the power of confidence in God, the role of prayer in overcoming challenges, and the comfort of God's presence. Whether we are facing personal challenges or societal injustices, we can turn to Psalm 35 for guidance and comfort as we seek God's protection and deliverance. O oh God! Our refuge and our fortress, we come before you with hearts filled with both hope and heaviness. We echo the words of David in Psalm 35, as we face adversaries and situations that challenge our well-being and our sense of justice. You, O oh Lord, are the ultimate source of justice and deliverance, and we place our trust in you. Lord, we find ourselves surrounded by those who seek to harm us unjustly, to accuse us without cause, and to plot against us. Just as David prayed for your intervention and vindication, we do the same today. Arise, O God, and take up our cause. Contend with those who contend with us, and fight against those who fight against us. O oh God, to step in and let your justice shine brightly in the midst of our troubles. Scatter our enemies and thwart their schemes, for they have sought to bring us down without justification. Let them be driven away like chaff in the wind, and let your angel of the Lord pursue them to bring confusion and dismay upon them. Give us the strength to stand unwavering, knowing that our cause is just. May the truth be our constant shield, and let righteousness precede us in all our ways. May those who devise our harm stumble and fall, and let their wickedness turn back upon them. We desire not vengeance, O Lord, but rather your righteous judgment. Deliver us from the snares that have been laid for us, for they have dug pits for us without any reason. Let their own devices entrap them, and may their own evil deeds become their downfall. Yet, O oh God, we do not forget to pray for their hearts. If it is your will, soften their hearts and lead them to repentance. We know that your mercy is without limit, and you desire that none should perish but come to eternal life. In your divine justice, we take refuge, O oh Lord knowing that it is flawless and unwavering. Let our souls rejoice in your deliverance, and let us magnify your holy name in gratitude and praise. We place our unwavering trust in you, the righteous judge, and we await your deliverance with hope and patience. O oh Lord, we find ourselves in times of trouble, facing adversaries who seek to harm us unjustly. Just as David cried out in the Psalms, we too, cry to you, our refuge and strength. We beseech you, O God, to contend with those who contend with us. Rise up, O Lord, and fight against those who fight against us. You are our shield and our defender, the one who upholds our cause. We ask for your divine intervention for your justice to prevail in every situation that seeks to harm us. Scatter our enemies and confuse their plans, for they seek to bring us down without cause. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let your angel of the Lord pursue and trouble them. Grant us the strength to stand firm, for our cause is just. Let the truth be our shield and buckler, and let righteousness go before us. May those who devise our hurt stumble and fall, and may their own wickedness be their downfall. We seek not vengeance, O Lord, 
but your righteous judgment. Deliver us from the snares that have been set for us, for they have dug a pit for us without cause. Let their own destruction overtake them, and let the net they hid ensnare them. But, O oh God, we do not forget to pray for their salvation. If it is your will, soften their hearts and turn them from their wicked ways. For we know that your mercy is boundless, and your desire is that all should come to repentance. We desire not vengeance, O oh Lord, but rather your righteous judgment. Deliver us from the snares that have been laid for us, for they have dug pits for us without any reason. Let their own devices entrap them, and may their own evil deeds become their downfall. Yet, O oh God, we do not forget to pray for their hearts. If it is your will, soften their hearts and lead them to repentance. We know that your mercy is without limit, and you desire that none should perish but come to eternal life. We take refuge in your justice, O Lord, knowing that it is perfect and sure. Let our souls rejoice in your salvation, and let us magnify your holy name. We put our trust in you, the righteous judge, and we wait in hope for your deliverance. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who taught us to forgive our enemies and pray for those who persecute us, we offer this prayer, knowing that your will be done, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6 The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He lets me rest in grassy meadows. He leads me to restful waters, He keeps me alive. He guides me in proper paths for the sake of His good name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because You are with me. Your rod and Your staff, they protect me. You set a table for me right in front of my enemies. You bathe my head in oil, my cup is so full it spills over. Yes, goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the Lord's house as long as I live. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. And if you know someone who could benefit from this video, please feel free to share it with them. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.